call the meeting of the rules, privileges, and elections to order. Good morning and welcome to this meeting of the Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Elections. My name is Karen Koslowitz and I am Chair of the Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Elections. I would like to, at this point, ask the speaker to make a few comments. Uh, thank you, Chair Kozlowitz. Uh, today is a new day for all workers in New York City. Today, the council will vote on groundbreaking legislation, the Stop Sexual Harassment in New York City Act. This package of bills demands that no employer in New York City, either public or private, ignore or overlook or turn a blind eye to sexual harassment in their businesses, organizations, offices, or city agencies. The resolution we consider, we will consider, and vote on today supports New York City employees by bringing the Council's anti-discrimination and sexual harassment policies and practices in alignment with the demands and goals of our legislative package. New York City workplaces free of discrimination and harassment. Today, by amending the rules of the Council, the Council takes action and joins with working people to say the time for sexual harassment in the workplace is up. I want to thank you, Chair Koslowitz, for chairing this hearing today and for preparing for it. I want to thank uh, Chair Helen Rosenthal of the Committee on Women for her leadership. And I also want to thank um, all of the women in the council who uh, I see Councilmember Chin, Councilmember Adams, uh, who else is here? Councilmember Gibson. Um, Councilman Rosenthal is down there uh, for their leadership in this. Um, what we are doing today by amending these rules, we're again aligning ourselves, what we're calling on other city agencies and the private sector to do. So this is an important day, a good day, a step in the right direction, and we are doing something both here for the council for city agencies and for the private sector, which is one of the most forward-thinking uh, packages of legislation addressing sexual harassment and hopefully um, mitigating what we've seen and uh, doing the right thing by the people of New York City. So I am proud that the Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Elections is voting on this today. I fully support it and I look forward to voting in support of this at our stated meeting later today. Thank you, Chair Koslowitz. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> I would like to at this time acknowledge the members of the committee. We have Council Member Espinal, Council Member Chin, Council Member Cornegy, Council Member Adams, Council Member Gibson, Council Member Matteo, and we've also been joined by Council Member Rosenthal. We have Councilmember Lance from behind us. Oh, Council. <laughs> Council Member Lanceman. <clears throat> I would also like to acknowledge Rules Committee Council Elizabeth Guzman, who was here very late last night working on this. Today, the Rules Committee will consider a resolution to amend Chapter 2 of the Rules of the Council of the City of New York. The amendments to Chapter 2 include amending Rule 2.70 and adding new Rule 2.75. These amendments are set forth in the pre-considered resolution. This is the statement now. Good morning, today the council will vote on crucial series of bills collectively called the Stop Sexual Harassment in New York City Act, aimed at demanding the protection of all, particularly women, against workplace sexual harassment in the public and private sectors. These bills require city agencies, the offices of the borough presidents, and the office of the public advocate to have non-discrimination and anti-harassment policies in place and to provide training to every employee. The resolution this committee considers today a resolution to amend Rule 2.70 of the Rules of the Council and add Rule 
2.75 to the rules will align the Council's policies and practices with the slate of anti-sexual harassment bills the Council will vote on later today. Anybody have any comments on what we're voting on today? Councilmember Adams. Thank you, Chair Kozlowitz. Just wanted to say that it's very important and I'm very proud of this council for uh, initiating this very unique package of legislation that we will vote on today. It's really important that the um, city council take the lead on this and I'm really proud to have a part of this legislative package. So many thanks to our speaker, Corey Johnson, Helen Rosenthal, all of the women and men who had a part of this important legislative package today, our sincerest thanks, and I'm sure that the people of the city of New York give their thanks as well. Anyone else? Okay, with that, let's do the vote. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call, roll committee on rules, privileges, and elections, preconsidered resolution. Chair Kozlowitz. Happily vote aye. This is a great thing that the council is doing. And as a woman, I really appreciate this. Gibson. Permission to briefly explain my vote? Thank you, thank you, Chair Koslowitz. Um, and I really want to echo the sentiments of Council Member Adams um, and just expressing my firm support for today's resolution on the agenda. Um, I wanna thank our speaker, Corey Johnson, and our chair of the Committee on Women, Helen Rosenthal, and many others who really stood firm um, in the culture that we are working in, and certainly in society, we have to recognize our fundamental responsibility as public servants. And I appreciate that this city council during this time is really taking the lead in not only reaffirming our commitment, but making sure that we are talking the talk and walking the walk. Um, and today's resolution coupled with the legislative package, Stop Sexual Harassment in New York City, is our commitment to not only take the lead, but make sure that we're holding ourselves accountable to the same level of standard that we expect of every public servant in this city of New York, whether you work in a city agency or any other public sector. Um, we have to be the leaders in this movement. We have to make sure that we are providing a safe environment for every public servant who works in our council and who works here in the city. So I'm very, very proud of today. Sir Certainly it's long overdue, um, but better late than never. Um, and certainly time is always of the essence to make sure that we continue to make a mark and create a legacy in this term that we don't just talk about it, but we are doers of the word. Um, and so with that, I am proud to vote aye. And I want to thank our chair and our speaker and all of my colleagues in the Women's Caucus and in the City Council for their leadership, their commitment, and their partnership. I vote aye. Chin. Uh, permission to explain my vote. Um, I'm really proud to be able to vote on this resolution today because as we move forward on the package of bill against uh, sexual harassment and discrimination, and people say, well, how come it doesn't apply to the city council? Well, this resolution makes it that the city council also have to comply with the rules. And I think we're taking uh, the lead on this that sexual harassment has no place in public workplace or in private workplace. And I want to thank our speaker for your leadership and uh, Chair Koskowitz and also Chair Rosenthal and the Women's Caucus and really making a shining example uh, for um, especially the younger generation of women and that this is uh, what leadership is all about. And I proudly vote aye. Thank you. Matteo. Carnegie. Uh, Madam Chair, permission to explain my vote. So I'm very proud as a father of four boys and two girls uh, to be in a progressive administration that puts forward, a progressive council that puts forward the idea of how important it is to protect uh, women. Um, I wanna thank my speaker and the chair of this committee for thinking that in the beginning of this term, how important it was to make this a benchmark 
uh, and I'm proud to have a piece of legislation that's part of this very progressive package. Thank you, and I vote aye. Espinal. Uh, with many thanks and congratulations to the Chair Kozlowitz and our speaker, uh, thank you for putting this forward. This is a great step. Thank you. I vote aye. Lanceman. Aye. Torres. I vote aye. Adams. Aye. Speaker Johnson. I very proudly vote aye, and again, I want to thank uh, Chair Rosenthal for her leadership on this. By a vote of 10 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item is adopted by the committee. This meeting is adjourned. Today, I'm so, so today, yeah. of course, yeah.